Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Mega Shadow Fist, and welcome back to 2064 Read Only Memories. And when we last left off, we were doing things, and now we're going to go ahead and do some more things. Let's go to, go to continue over here. And actually, well, we were right here in the Hassy place, so let's go ahead and talk to uh, the Hassy. But actually, let's talk to the Hassy Rom first. This Rom serves up the Hassy. Okay. Talk to Hassy Rom. Hassy. You buy a half in Hassy. Yum. Please don't touch the Hassy Rom. I don't know what Waste says. We're gonna go with it anyway. She seems bored. Since it is a Ron that hand handles all the ordering, there's not too much for her to do right now. Mm, fair enough. Ah, this is the most adorable little Rom! What kind of model is it? Where did you get it? I don't know what place this is. It's so moy. The mouthy kind. They're a custom model. Ooh, wow! You don't see a whole lot of those around! Must have taken ages to get that case looking that good with a home printer, too! I don't know what voice this says. I'm impressed! Anyway, what can I get you? A drink, and maybe some information? A drink I can do, and I guess I have some time to talk! The protesters outside the clinic are driving off a lot of my regular customers! Filling up my bathroom, too, jerks! So, what do you want to know? Tell me about yourself. Ooh, I never introduced myself, did I? I'm Ramona. Oh, Ramona. I guess there isn't much to tell. I went to college, got a degree, took, a, took out a loan and bought this place. Now I spend my days trying to find enough time and money to save my VR drama addiction. My priorities are just as cute stuff and magical girls, in that order. What else? I pretty much don't leave the store. You don't seem pleased about the human revolution. Look, they've got the right to protest, but I don't have to like it. Once you're done with the high bridge, I know they'll be coming for me next. So I'll be voting appropriately. And if I have to unclog one more toilet because of an entitled bigoted jerk face, I'll lose my goddamn mind. Why don't they come after you? Oh, can't you tell? I've got a cybernetic arm and leg fixed an auto cab crash when I was a kid. I also got neural links for VR interfacing. If, I, if it was up to those dinosaurs, I'd be stuck in a wheelchair right now, worse, depending on how far back they want to push our medical technology. It's already illegal for me to have a rocket-powered fist. What more do they want? Is that your climate control ROM outside? It does a good job, huh? Yeah, it's mine. Well, technically it's property of Hashi Holdings. We spend a minute on it, but the rest of the block helps pitch in for maintenance costs, so I, use, so I usually set it to patrol the whole area. You should check it out when we do Christmas in July! It can cover the whole street of snow as long as it's cloudy enough to get the sun off, sort of like today. Would you mind if I take it for a spin? Sorry, but that thing cost me way too many credits to, let, to just let any, anyone poke at it. I would need some serious credentials before I let you mesh with it. You know, enough to make sure you can afford to replace it if you break it. Okay. Uh... Random uh, frame rate drop. Let's go ahead and uh, check my Audacity file right now. How are you doing? Still good, all things considered. Otherwise, no touching! You called Turing Moe? Sorry, old talker speak. I just made he's really cute and lovable, and you want to you kind of want to hug him forever, you know? A lot of old talkers come around here probably because I own the place. I'm used to be able. I mean, I'm used. I'm used to being able to shoot my mouth off and not explain all the jargon. Otaki, otaki, as in Japanese cartoons? Yeah, I know it's a bit out of fashion, but I'm a history buff. What? Uh, okay. Suffering from the Scottish plague, yeah, we're good. But, uh, Audacity, on the other hand, how are you doing? No, you're crash. you're like... <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, that was just some technical issues, them doohickey mobobs, if you will. It probably gives content to destroy the present, you know what I mean? I've been in Tokyo twice already! 
The Otaku resists the new culture of their sight sheet. In the same way, their parents have used to give up cassette tapes. The Saishi. Oh, sorry, the Saibo, Saibo Shibito, the Cyber Dead. Saiba, Saiba, did I say Saibo? Saiba Shibito, Saiba Shibito, okay. No, no, no. The Cyber Dead. In the early 21st century, Japan had an epidemic of chronic shortage and the rise of direct and linked virtual reality only made that worse. Suddenly, people weren't just refusing to leave their, cr their rooms, they were refusing to leave their hedge. But as the technology got better, the Saisha, Saishi, were the first to figure out how to use their own brazers to scope cyberspace. Computers are good, are good at thinking straight lines, but the human brain is capable of so much more. The best virtual landscapes, the most real VR dramas and games are created by the Saishi. Okay, I'll restart my device later. Now, even if Earthquake or Meteor or whatever level Japan, they still have Neo Tokyo built on the VR net. But enough babbling. If you're interested, I'm sure you can find more on the mesh. Or use an introduction helmet to visit the Neo Tokyo yourself. It's a trip especially for newbies. I think that's everything. Okay, enjoy your drink and let me know if you need anything else. Uh, let me talk again. I, I'm curious about something. Oh, actually, hold on. A brochure for the human revolution. A business card. Dr. Vanek Fairlight! I've heard of him! Super Rich Guy used to own System 1? Why are you giving me his card? I work for him. He's looking to buy a climate control ROM like yours. Yes! He's getting it on in years and it would be useful for when, when he goes out and about. That's why he wanted to see it from before. I need a close look at it to make sure it'll suit his purposes. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess you can take a peek. Don't bust it, though. I've scanned this card. I swear, if you break my ROM, I'll be calling your boss. Here's the RFID key to access it. Thank you. This will be sure. This will surely be useful for our needs. Shall we go check it out? Okay. So anyway, items, menu, items, leave, items, menu, items, leave, items, menu, items, leave, items, menu, let's go ahead and save. Why did you do that, you might ask? Oh, no reason. <laughs> let's go over to slot four. That's because, you know, it's four slots uh, per um, series. That's how it usually is, as per tradition. So let's go ahead and go to M, E, G, A. Done. Okay. It's gonna go to continue. Go to, uh, let's go to leave. And, actually, hold on. It remains a beautiful reminder of the antiquated technologies of centuries past. Let's have the chill music play. Um, where is it? Your ID card. Those damn headphones. Okay, so nothing there. Use weather ROM. Hmm. This ROM has multiple different climate control settings. Maybe we could make things a little more festive? Christmas is my favorite season. Should I switch it to snow moon? Yeah, turn this baby on. Hassy hot cups. That's our achievement. Rich. Snowing. Okay, people. R for one didn't bring any winter wear. Let's call it a day for now. There we go. No, mode deactivated. Excellent work. Heh <laughs> While I still have doubts about the moral superiority of using subterfuge to disperse a protest, we at least can accomplish our goal peacefully. And to be frank, considering how the human revolution is clearly working against my personal interests, I won't waste many, many clock cycles puzzling that ethical quandary out. Hmm. Might I draw your attention to those youths over, over yonder? Counterculture clothing, obvious bad attitudes, and graffiti paraphernalia. Those could be our suspects who damage my home in the name of revolution. Maybe. Let's talk to them.
wait, we should approach, the, approach them cautiously as to not start a confrontation with the wrong individuals. They may even point us to the true culprits. Oh no, they notice our attentions. Come along, maybe we can catch them. We'll never catch them on foot. Hold on, I'm calling an autocab of our own. I know it seems, that, uh, seems a great deal of trouble for such a tenuous lead, but I have a t but I have a hunch about them. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. But the righteous are as bold as the lion. Ah! The autocab is estimated to take five minutes to arrive. We'll never be able to engage in pursuit fast enough to catch up to them. Perhaps we should call Tomcat. Maybe they could do some bit of techno wizardry and stop that cab. Good idea. Ring them up. Excellent! Hold on while I connect us. Howdy, howdy folks! How's the search for the data cache going? Actually, that's what we're calling about, Tomcat. We may have located the perpetrators, but they eluded us and are making their escape in an auto cab. We attempted to use a cab of our to tell them, but it hasn't arrived and they're getting away. Can you hack that cab and stop it? Ooh, no can do, little guy. Security on those cabs is tight, and the dang thing will shut down its external net connection long before I get in. Unless... Oh, I have an idea. Sit tight for just a sec. Alright, that went faster than spit on a skillet. Okay. I did a job a few years back and had to break into the city central tra excuse me, traffic network. Do me a favor and don't ask why. The back door I drilled into that long ago was still wide open. I'm logging into the traffic management system now. Wait. Aw, oh, shit. They may, they may not have fixed that back door, but they did install a new counter intrusion VI. Ah, oh, the damn thing is hot on my tail. Um, virtual... Uh, wait, hold on. Who's that visual... Uh, uh, anyway. What's a VI? Virtual intelligence, yeah. They're kind of like Turing, except less creative and inventive and definitely not sapient. But they're nasty enough at hunting down hackers and crackers if you're willing to pay for a good one. I gotta take care of this VI. I'm gonna need the two of you to handle the traffic system. Turing, I'm passing control to you. Hold tight, I'm gonna be doing some two sets of hands on one keyboard kind of hacking. Just push on the map and load up on, up on Turin's face. Sorry, Turin. Okay. They're on the move! Here's how it works. Use your display map to keep track of their cab and redirect it back to you. You can trigger your traffic nodes at intersections so the cab thinks the streets are blocked off. Do it right, do it right and you should be able to steer them right back to you. You just gotta make sure to stop them where you're at, or else they'll be go they'll be running off on foot. I'll put a goal mark on the map for you. You can trigger any no on the map at any time, so plan ahead. I'd say you'll have time for two moves every time they hit an intersection. If they go off the map though, you'll lose them. Block every road that leads out of your grid and watch a place with three exits. You can't tell you can't cover you can't all cover in one go round. Just hurry, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep this VI from messing on this carpet. And once I kill the connection, this little trick is over. I'll tap into the cab control node they're currently arriving at. Our top priority, priority is to ensure they, is they cannot leave the area Tomcat's given access to. I'll mark the southern exit as, a close, as close first. We only have time to block up two routes before the auto cab will make a decision to move. We should have bought the roots route back here. We have to stop them where we can catch them. Once you get them back here, press the big button on the top of the map to, other, to short wear the auto cab. Be careful. Oops. If you stop them right anywhere else, they'll just run off. Okay. What do you think our next move should be? Uh, don't let them go east. Uh, hold on. 
呃，所以个我是嗯嗯那个嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯 ，Let's let's walk him for let's walk him to the north actually. Turing, I can't have you talking. It's messing with the signal. It's up to you now. Don't let those punks escape, but don't trap them anywhere that's not here. We can access any of the control nodes in the area at any time. Plan ahead, and we should be able to get it, get them. Got it. So, question, actually, hold on. So, if I were to, does that turn off? Okay. Yeah, this might actually be a problem because what I was gonna do is have them. Oh, well, not necessarily though. Because if I do this, and I do this, they'll either go straight or, yeah, they'll go straight, just like I predicted. The problem is that, um, the one down here is blocked off, and they can, they, we only have a time to adjust two of them. So, what I think I want to do, actually, is this. I'll block this one off, I'll block this one off, so there go. Oh, so they can go that way anyway. Okay, well, I'll block this one off. And yeah. And then I'll block this one off. They'll go that way. There we go, they're at the goal. Now what we do is stop taxi. Now let's go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go stop them, and then we can interrogate the miscreants. Uh, okay. What the hell do you want? Worst cab ride ever. Achieving a lot. Who do you think you're messing with, huh? You ain't got nothing on us. If you don't get out of my way, I'll mess you up. Hey, what do you think we should do? We haven't observed them doing anything illegal. We could potentially make this go over smoothly. Or we could share news of this encounter with Lexi before things get out of hand. These two seem agitated already, and it would be best to make sure they're handled by the appropriate authorities. Those are the options I deduce. Questions or cops? It's up to you. How do you want to do this? Lexi would know what to do trying to face the law, boys. Mm -hmm. Let's put this in Lexi's hands for now. Lexi will know what to do. Time to face the law, boys. Snitch. Hold on there, boys. I'm just gonna make a quick call. That's the achievement. What the hell? Oliver, they're calling him back up. Oh, great, Chad. You always get us in trouble. Don't call me that. I'll tell you I'm Starfucker now. What kind of nickname? Uh-oh! This isn't going so well! But, Ollie, we didn't do anything wrong, right? Try explaining our innocence when their crew or whatever shows up to take us out or something. Take us out? But, Ollie, we already made plans to go out tonight. They're gonna have the same exact voice, who cares? They aren't taking us out to dinner, you useless! Ooh! I'm not even connected to Lexi! Apparently she's out of the office right now! Does she carry a ROM removal device with her that I can try connecting to? What do we do now? Only one thing to do, let's book it! Aw, oh, Trap, they're running again! After them! Damn, we are Rarello, whoops. <sighs> Shit! Owie! Okay, Acropos, see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>